guy doing, man? He's just like <laughs> cycling through every single character. Mm -hmm. Are you good? Yeah, we're good. It looks All like. Right, cool. Shout outs to <laughs> Lee for checking to make sure we're good on stream. Yeah. Some people when they go on stream, they just like boom yeah, go right, in. They're right, like they're so like, excited, you know. Yeah, and then we miss like the first like five seconds of the match or something. Yep. Alrighty. So we got Shasta and Leaf, and then we got Retro Ooh, and, and Ham, Ham Hustle. Hustle. <laughs> I just call them Retro and Ham. We're trying to figure out who says. Okay, Retro looks like the Roy and Ham's the Cloud. Team, Interesting. Team RPG Swordsman. Right yeah. Here. This is actually the uh, Salt One Hyper Kirby team from Georgia. Oh yeah, yeah. It that's is. true. The Roy uh, Cloud. Two mm -hmm. really good representatives of those characters. But let's see what they can do here. Mm -hmm. Leaf FC already going crazy. We're trying to Fort Air Snipe or Fort Air Spike them off the stage. Yeah, both of these two, they're kind of just splitting up, not really trying to help out their uh, teammates, but that's uh, something I advise Retro and Ham to start doing, because right now, they're both at 99%. The red team barely been touched so far. This is very insignificant in terms of damage, especially when it comes to doubles. Great neutral there from Leaf FC, really deep off stage. Yeah, caught his double jump, had no limit. Cloud's not coming back. Oh, Woo! <laughs> got hit by dash attack and up tilt at the same time. Yeah, damn, that's a pretty overkill. Anyways, C4 is there. That was really silly. Luckily, he didn't die from that F smash. Like he just down through his own partner, tried to stick him. Yep. And then ran to his opponent's F smash. So mm -hmm. you get, we're getting the king style. It's the first match of the day, so you know, <laughs> might need to get warmed up a little bit. Yep. Splitting up again. Yeah, they're really uh, dec deciding not to opt to help out their teammate, but then the, he just spares his own teammate. He's <laughs> trying to self him, so maybe they're not quite as coordinated yet. Yeah, what I'm looking for mainly from uh, Leaf really is to use the grenades to just pepper the stage with explosives and uh, also have that C4 stick on his partner. That's also, that's like one of the best things about using Snake in doubles anyway. Mm -hmm. He seems like a very light user when it comes to the grenade though. I've seen him using the C4 dash attack and like up smash like his other projectiles much more than the grenade. Yeah, yeah he definitely oh. likes to burst in with dash attack it looks like. And there's another stock off a of cloud. He's basically just been getting edge guarded really heavily so far. Mm -hmm. Like both of his stocks are just him just getting knocked too far off the stage to recover. I mean arguably in this game is much, much easier to to edge guard against Cloud just because of the way the ledge works in this game yeah. compared comparatively to the other ones. The Magna Hat's not quite as strong. Yeah. It's one of the rough parts about playing Cloud. I still think he's a very solid character. It just uh, other characters can do what he can do a little bit better, like Roy. Mm hmm Alright, so Chasa finally dies to his own teammate C4. But that's not stopping them from really riding with them some momentum. Already got Retro to 20% and is still climbing. And he can't land on the stage, basically. Leaf has been doing a good job of just keeping him at bay. And he's looking for that up tilt or dash attack. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunate. It looked yeah, like that. Ham is <laughs> not having a good time whatsoever. Yeah. All right. Well, there's still, uh, still game two, you know. It's not the end of the world for these two. Maybe they can adapt, do something to bring things around. After yeah. this dash attack, we'll, we'll, we'll see about the next game. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, mainly what I saw was just two 1v1s most of the time. It just seems like red team is a little bit more on point, like a little bit more solid players. Mm -hmm. And usually when that happens, uh, you have to rely on your team synergy to outplay the, you know, to make up for the player skill gap, you know what I right. mean? Right, mm-hmm. Although, it's usually the case that like the, the better players also know how to have team synergy, so yeah. the, it definitely has to uh, make up for it. But, yeah, Leaf and Shasta are going to take game one. Yeah, we didn't really see much of like the C4 shenanigans, mm -hmm. but uh, it's always next game. They still yeah. played really solid even without relying on that. Yeah, I think uh, sometimes it's one of those things where you don't use up all of your resources and tricks until you need them you need to and I think the way they were playing they were doing just fine yeah. so also quick tidbit apparently Shasta recently got a world record speedrun for Nightmare in Dreamland which oh, is yeah, yeah. really great I for him I forgot that he does speedrunning too yeah so you should follow him at twitch.tv slash Mr. Shasta uh, you'll be able to find it there's a bunch of weasels on his channel but anyways here we go we are going here to Town and City yeah I actually think Greninja is an amazing team character as well. He's so mobile. He has a projectile to like intercept like his partner on the other side of the stage. Like maybe he's doing like a one v one. He can throw a shuriken to like interrupt the opponent and then let the, his partner get a little bit of pressure off of him too. Yeah, especially because he has an extremely high double jump height too. He can catch people in the air when they're getting comboed. Sometimes other players or characters can't reach that high, so then you can't you can't save your teammate while they're getting comboed off the top or something. Yeah. So I think Greninja is a very good character. Usually it's at least one heavy hitter and one very fast character to save you from those situations. It's yeah. the best types of synergy. And wow, that limit blade beam still not enough to do oh, it. Oh man, that's man. unfortunate. Yeah, his blade beam didn't kill and he died. It yeah, unfortunately. It's a really bad situation. We, we got the substitution, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Roy trying to get something started, but all gets hit in the free fall from his up B. He's trying to play a little bit aggressive, but Shasta. Yeah. A little bit too quick. Oh, man. Double up there off the top. Man, now Roy's out of there. Mm -hmm. Hams is really trying to find a kill on Leaf, and it's not working. He's just been navigating around his hitboxes, knows what he wants to do, and getting those parries. Very proficient in the matchup, Ooh, but there we go. The limit cross slash. Even Snake's going to die at that percent. Mm -hmm. Platform's going away. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of a pause there, but we're back into it. Oh man, the can he didn't slice like really far off the stage and just not able to make it back. Mm -hmm. Ham has just been in that situation way too many times in this set so far. Yeah. I mean this is one of those banes where like you're fighting against two characters that are either really fast slash good at edge guarding oh or my. they have very long lasting hitboxes. Oh, oh god! Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got carried up like by like, five up there is off the top and then his teammates are like, all right, man, I, th I see you need help here. Let me get this ninja out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know you took like 70%, yeah. but it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's better than just dying off the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's dying off the top to Greninja up air, man. Like, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, that's one of the better things about Greninja in this game is up air is more consistent, so you actually get hit by the full uh, hits now. Mm -hmm. So it's even better as a juggling tool than it was before. And Greninja in general, man, like, he's just a really strong character in this game. But there's the S-Mash taking out Shasta's second stock mm -hmm. doing a little bit better than the first game yeah definitely Ham oh no uh, I don't know if he is. used his double jump already but decided that he had to up B right away didn't quite make it back to the station now Retro's all alone yeah this is a rough comeback to make oh and the C4 snipe yo I didn't even know C4, C4 yeah. was there <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't see it either yeah that was crazy all right great recognition from Leaf and that's going to be them taking the set 2-0 yeah, that's another really good thing about Snake and Teams. The chaos of, like, double...